blocking my path. Please tell me you have news of Thespis. He's fine, and he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods! I know what actors can be like. Compared to what I'm used to, it was a breath of fresh air. That is so good to hear. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be its voice. education he has had. Such insults! And to think I was going to propose a statue to be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery! See! He treats us like all daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah, alas! The conspirators are murdering me! So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Cassandra! Brasidas sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphipolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So, what are you going to do? Brasidas needs my help. 
I plan on giving it to him. Though should our paths cross, I won't hesitate to kill Cleon. Whatever you decide, remember he's only a man. I can't promise anything. Be safe. I don't want to be spotted here. Thelos Islands, two sides of the same coin. Thelos, sacred birthplace of Artemis and Apollo, and Mykonos, where people do everything that's forbidden on Thelos. Read me the note again. Eagle-bearing Mystios. That's you. Otharkis. Cruel leader of Delos Islands takes money from our pockets and food from our mouths, all to feed his inset... inseti... Insatiable. Yes! His insatiable thirst for power. Odarkis is one of them, Varnavas. The ones hunting my family. Keep reading. We are a modest but fierce group of rebels would pay you handsomely to help us overthrow our vile oppressor. I pray the winds guide you swiftly to our shores, Mystios. Our people are dying. Signed, Kira.
We arrived just in time to help. You see, Poseidon wasn't trying to drown you. He was getting you where you needed to go. Aggressively. Does the note say where Kira is? There are two locations marked. A camp along the northwestern coast and a hideout that looks like it's underneath the city. Podarki sounds like a cruel man. He's worse. I once heard a family was late in paying their dues to the gods. Podarki sent his men to their farm and took the young ones from their beds. When their mater and pater woke up to feed the animals, they discovered the animals were already feeding on the corpses of their sons. The sooner I send this monster to Hades, the better. Even Hades would shudder in his presence. This place seems... nice. <laughs> this island has a giant history, my friend! We don't have time, Varnavas. I meant Mykonos literally has a history involving giants. Apollo was once friends with Hyperboreans from the snowy north. Until one day, they sent two maidens and five of their men to Zelos with offerings for the son of Zeus. They were never seen again. And Mykonos? The island itself was built from the corpses of giants slain by the legendary Heracles. My mind wandered. Remind me what the note said. <clears throat> Eagle bearing mist. The short version, please. Odarkis, cruel leader, thirst for power, pay you handsomely, rebellion, people die. It's time I met with this Kira. I'll have the ship ready in case we need any immediate departures. That was Kefalonia. And that was mostly your fault. Here, <laughs> Cassandra. Here, Varnavas. There's the rebel hideout. Seems like a good place for a hideout.
I'm looking for the one called Kira. I've come in response to a call for help. You missed. Are you here to spy, Athenian? Or maybe you are Athena herself. Dressed in a dirty disguise? Sure, I'm a god. You think it's wise to throw blades first and ask questions later? Podarkis and his men have been hunting and killing us without mercy. His spies are everywhere. He won't rest until all who oppose him are dead. We are all that's left of the resistance. This is the first night we aren't fighting for our lives. And it could be our last. And suddenly, you show up. This is why I'm here. It's your symbol, right? You're the Mystios who bears the Eagle of Zeus. My apologies. These are dangerous times for anyone waging war against the Athenian Empire and the Delian League. I am Kira. Your note mentions Podarkis. I'm going to find him. His house is on the coast, uh, north of Mykonos city. But he's heavily guarded. We've never been able to get close enough without taking heavy casualties. This is why I sent for you. I thought Vilos was the heart of the Delian League. Athens' pride and joy. We were, until Athens took the League's treasury away from Vilos. Why? So they could build a statue of Athena mocking Apollo. The people pleaded with Podarchis not to trust Athens with the treasury, but his thirst for power made him deaf to his people. If things are so miserable, why doesn't Vilos abandon the League? Podarchis sends Athenian soldiers to collect money from us all. The moment that stops, Athenian ships will burn our islands to the ground. I came here to help you deal with one man, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to the mighty Cassandra, and Sparta too. Podarchis discovered the other cap and sent Athenian soldiers to attack. Malaka! You and your rebels are too drunk to fight. Leave the soldiers to me. <laughs> if you think I'm going to miss a chance to kill Athenians, you're the one who's drunk. Did Sparta answer your call for help? A Polemarchos named Taletas and a handful of Spartans landed on Mykonos not long before you. It's their camp we're headed to, isn't it? Taletas needs our help now, though he never admitted. Sounds Spartan, all right.
You fought well, Kira. You too, Spartan? I was, but that was a long time ago. Spartan blood is eternal, stranger. What's your name? This is Cassandra, the one I told you about. 
They call me Thaletas. I was Polemarchos to the Spartans here. Was? Our ship was sunk. Our generals killed. There are only a few of us left. We've all lost friends to this war. And we will mourn them later. She's right. We shouldn't be standing here drenched in Athenian blood. We'll be safe in the hideout. Let's talk there. Will you come to the hideout now or meet us there later? There's no time to waste. We'll go to the hideout now. How long till Podarkis finds us? We're right under his nose! His nose is so high in the air, he couldn't find the statue of Artemis Agrotera if he was standing on her head! We know where he lives! I say we knock down his door and run our spears through his face! That's a terrible plan! The Spartan phalanx is impenetrable in a ground assault! Not when there's only twelve of you! You think with your heart! That's what I like about you. But you're a general. To those men now, you need to think with your head. All you do is hide in caves and lurk in shadows. We didn't come here to hide. We came here to fight! And we will. But right now, we're outnumbered. We must be strategic. Cassandra, what do you think we should do? Kira's right. Taking them head-on would be suicide. Sailing here was suicide! Right now, my men are on the beach. That's where I'll be! Then let us don't! If you decide you actually want to win this rebellion, come find me. Ah, uh, Spartans. Don't mind him. He'll be fine after he kicks something. But I'm glad you agree with me, Cassandra. Meet me at the Temple of Artemis. There we can discuss how to take down Podarkis. <sighs> this is going to be a long rebellion. Sandra, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you didn't throw another blade at me. I know, I know. You came all this way and I was cruel to you. Well, you weren't the first, and you won't be the last. Dillians are kind people. At least we were. Before him. Paul Darkis. That man's been hunting me my whole life.
Bodarkis and others like him want me and my family dead. He executed my family when I was very little. I survived on the streets. Was raised by hunters, rogue warriors, and mercenaries like you. They are my family now. And one day, I will fire an arrow into his black heart. One for every Dillian family he's destroyed. Then it's time we turn this predator into prey. How do we get past his guards? Soldiers need two things to fight. Swords in their hands and food in their bellies. Take them away and the guards fall. Scouts reported Podarkis' supplies and weapons were stockpiled in the old ruins on Delos Island. I'll go to Delos, find their stockpiles and destroy them. Need to stay hidden.
Kinthos ruins. This is where I'll find Podarkis' weapons and supplies. Break their supplies, break their will. Podarkis' troops will be helpless. Who knew rebelling was this much fun? Should destroy these without attracting attention. That should do it. Kira will want to hear about this.
Is it done? Well, Vargis's guards will have to fight with their fists and on empty stomachs from now on. Excellent. So, what will you do once Podarkis is dead and the rebellion is won? The sad truth is, I have no idea. For as long as I can remember, every day has been a struggle to live, to love. Vengeance has all but consumed me. And what will Cassandra do once this is over? We have a lot in common. I was hoping when the smoke clears, we could find somewhere quiet. And what exactly do we have in common? I know you've struggled to get where you are. You've had to fight and claw for everything you have. I know, because I've done the same. We're survivors. I'm glad the gods brought you to our source, Cassandra. Some time alone would be nice. You must have many tales. It's time we got going. When Povarkis learns of what happened on Dilos, he'll want revenge. And the first to suffer will be the Dillians. Here. What's with all the whispering? Shh! If the soldiers hear us, they'll kill me. You're the Mystios working for Kira and the rebels, yes? I am. Yes, you are. Many whispers of your deeds, Mystios. Many whispers. Many secrets, too. About the rebel girl. If you know something, spit it out! If the soldiers see me, they'll kill me. Apollo knows they already tried. There's a house near the market, been boarded up for ages. Sneaky sneak your way in. We'll talk after. Strange. I should find the house, see what this beggar has to say. Wonder what today will bring. will be vigilant here.
since you landed. Soon I'm going to be a blade in your throat. Even if you kill me, you will lose even better. We are everywhere. There isn't a rock you can hide under where we won't find you. You are the snakes who hide. I'm going to bury you so deep, only Hades will find you. I did. I did for the glory of Thelos. You acted alone, and you will die alone.
What the? I've got my eye on you. Good luck! <laughs> A note was left behind. A warning from Podarkis. He was paying this woman to keep quiet. About what? This woman was killed. Left in the open without dignity. Huh. An Athenian spear tip broke off in her ribs. Bloody footprints. A child's. Must have been hiding in that chest. Wooden dolls. A mother and child. One engraved with the letter M and the other K. Nothing else to find here. I need to speak with that strange woman. Ah, and 
And what did the Mystios find? A body. A woman. She was killed by an Athenian spear. This is all? There was a letter from Podarkis. Said he'd kill them both if she broke her silence. Both? Why kill a child unless... Oh, it was his. Shh. They could be listening. Now tell me, quietly, what else did you find? The dolls. Engraved with the letters K and M. M is for Mater. You asked who I worked for. The little doll with the K? The child was Kira. Yes, yes, which means... By the gods! Podarkis is Kira's pater! Very wise, Mistyos, very wise indeed. Kira needs to know. She'll never believe you, never. Her whole life she hunts the man who sent Athenians to kill her mother in front of her terrified eyes. But the gods spared little Kira. She escaped. How do you know so much? I was there, Mistyos. I protected the little one. The Athenians were so busy trying to kill me, Kira slipped right past their blades. You were involved in this. My name was Otonia. I was a servant for Pradarkis. What? Night after night, Kira's mother came to the house. Little one wanted to meet her father. Podarkis made me send her away. But she kept coming. So Podarkis sent me to her house with a note. The warning. She didn't listen. Podarkis sent me back to her house, this time with Athenian soldiers. Kira needs to know Podarkis is her father. But I won't confront her until I have proof. The woman came to Podarkis' house one night, begged me to give him the doll Kira made for him. If Podarkis had it, he might have kept it somewhere. Only the gods would know. I will find this doll. Now the Mistyos knows who she works for. The others should know too. That's it. If Podarkis hid that doll somewhere in his house, I'm going to find it. There's the doll. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Podarkis <laughs> kept the doll Kira made for him. She engraved it with the letter P for Pater. deserve the truth as well. Blood is everything to some people. They could abandon her if they knew Podarkis was her father. You're in the way! Move!
Where's Kira? She's... Miss me already, Miss Dios? Kira, there's something I need to tell you. That look on your face, so serious. Sit, relax, drink some wine. What I'm about to say is for you alone. Follow me. Now that you have me all alone, what is it you want to tell me? There is no other way to say this. Podarkis is your father. <laughs> what sort of joke is this? This isn't a joke. I will kill you where you stand! This can't be. Kira, I'm sorry. He took everything from me. How do you find this? I found your old house. I know about your mother. I can still hear her screams. A storm of blue armor and red blades tore through our home. I had to run through mother's blood to escape. I never returned to that place. It was best you didn't. It's good you told me in private. The men don't need to know this, not yet. But please, leave me for a while. I need to be alone. I'm looking for Kira. Not here. Gone hunting. Once you're with her, she said. I'm in. Where is she? Praying to the gods for a good hunt. The altar of Artemis, east from here, on the north bit of Tavern Point. Thanks.
I will follow the most to the underworld and bring my hordes with us. Keen-eyed Artemis, guide my bow. I pray to you with all my heart that Cassandra doesn't scare off the animals with her heavy footsteps. I thought I was being quiet. If that was you being quiet, we'll have nothing but trampled grass to eat for dinner. Nice altar. The flowers remind me of sweeter days. But your real concern should be, how skilled are you with that bow? I've seen you hunt. You don't need my help. Oh, I bet you capture any prey you lock those sharp eyes with. Sounds like a challenge. Come, the Ibex is swift. We're not going to catch any by standing and chatting. There's a spot down here where I used to hunt as a young girl. It was hunt or starve in those days. <laughs> Same for me. I started by catching and cooking rodents. <laughs> they make a good soup. But look how far you've come. How far we've come. how you use that bow.
There's no Ibexes here. Your form is perfect. With the bow? That too. On you. Tell Artemis I've got my eye on someone else. <laughs> Don't make him jealous. My people will be well fed, and the gods will have their sacrifice, thanks to you. You're a great hunter. Why did you actually want me here? Don't be naive. There's something between us, even though I know I shouldn't act on it. Because you love Thaletas. Or at least I thought I did. Until you arrived. The hunt clears my mind. To reflect on the words that passed between us. Is that a good thing? I know a spot down by the water. It's quiet. We'd be alone. What do you say? I'm all yours. Billions have suffered for so long. This is the first time I've felt happiness since the war began. You can bring that to your people. These islands deserve peace. So do you. And what about you? When this is all done, we can always use another set of capable hands. My journey isn't over yet. But I may settle down someday. You can do many things, Mistios, but settle down, I'm not so sure. Another challenge? Stop looking to the future to be happy when true happiness is right in front of you. You taught me that. So the pirate has one blade at my throat, and one at my stomach, and he says... How do you want to die, Mistios? Fast or slow? My gods! What did you do? He was so focused on me, he never noticed my spear in his leg. He was dead before he knew what happened. His leg? A little trick my mother taught me. Why is it so easy to talk with you? Because we've lived similar lives, been through similar struggles, even though we grew up so far apart. I want you, Cassandra. Here, now, under the stars. I've wanted you since I laid eyes on you.
Mykonos is definitely my favorite island. <laughs> and you're my favorite, Mistios. Thaletas should know about this. He will, in time. For now, he needs to focus on the rebellion. So do we. But uh, first... <laughs> 